My name is Anthony Janssen van Rensburg. I am the principal of Crawford uh, Italia, uh, also known as Crawford International Bedford View. My name is Amy Fenter. I'm the primary years program coordinator at Crawford International Bedford View. I'm Pietru. I'm the deputy principal at Crawford International Bedford View. I started, uh, you know, as a principal on my first day on the job, I was given the task to obviously take this campus through the candidacy phase or the IB. It's been a wonderful journey the last 18 months. I think it's been amazing. We're very grateful and lucky that our children have grasped it, have enjoyed every little bit of the changes. Our teachers have been great on trying to implement the change that comes with the program because it's not traditional teaching styles, it's very inquiry based. But it's been an amazing journey. The IB program came in out to our school almost like a storm. It has engaged with us in so many different ways. The children, the teachers, the community. I've seen so much change in our children from being just normal school children to children that can become international children, children that can make a difference in the world. Certainly has changed the way in which children think and express and relate to the content of uh, the curriculum um, and giving them a lot more freedom in terms of how they choose to engage with the content. I've been at the school since its inception in 2014 and for the last two years I've seen so much change in our children. They used to be children that did what they were told. Now they are children that can think for themselves, that can engage with learning material, that can research and don't just believe anything that's told to them, they question everything. Inquiry-based learning focuses a lot on the children and allowing them to dig deep and delve into the learning process themselves. The teacher's more seen as a guide. We stand on the sidelines and encourage and make sure that they are going in the right direction, but the children, each child learns differently. So the inquiry process allows the child to inquire into the concepts that we're trying to get the child to understand in their own learning style. Initially, I think it was quite a daunting experience for the teachers to get used to something that is uh, not very traditional or you know, curriculum bound, where the teachers are given so much flexibility in terms of deciding how would they like to unpack the program of inquiry, it's also been a journey, a learning journey. We've had to grow, we've had to develop, which is what learning is about. We're lifelong learners and I think every teacher has tried their best to embrace this to the best they can. The development that comes with PYP has been phenomenal. It never stops, there's constantly growth and we're grateful that our teachers have taken it on board so enthusiastically. Teaching in the past is very much content driven. It was driven by what the curriculum stated we had to do. But with the IB, the philosophy of the IB allows us to use many different sources to teach from. Yes, there is guidelines, but how you elaborate on your teaching pretty much becomes a very personal way of doing it. What has been wonderful about the IB is the way in which we were able to engage our community as well and onboard our community into the learning journey. And our, I must say, you know, the support that we've received from our community at large uh, has been amazing in terms of also occasionally stepping in into the classroom and learning experience and learning environment to enrich the learning moments for the children. In terms of technology, it's always been my dream to incorporated in my learning. With the IB, it has become so much easier to do. Children can research, not only using Google, but using many different platforms. They can get resources from all over. We can engage with children in different countries, and we can learn how they do things, and evaluate how we do things in South Africa. The children's minds have been open to the world out there. They feel important because they have a say. We allow the children to often, we give them choice in project so the project might have a concept that we're trying to see if the child understands but they have many ways to come and show us their understanding of the concept which again is very different and each child is different so for the children the experience has been great very much aligned with our mission to send every child home every day wanting them to be happy because it's really about sending happy children home at the end of the day. To me the transdisciplinary themes that we have in IB gives us a flow in our teaching. It allows the children to engage in, on many different 
ideas they have. It allows them to change the world. It allows them to make the world a better place for everybody, not only for the children in their school, but all over. We have a very active community in our school, parents. We have, we've got engagement with the Italian community, which allows us a different view on the world. The transdisciplinary themes are, are structured in a way the children have a different look at the world. They see the problems around them and they make plans to change it. So hopefully that we have a better future for everybody ahead. And I've been exceptionally proud of what my team in particular, being the smallest of all the Crawford schools in the group, uh, have achieved within this 18-month period. And uh, yeah, it's just been amazing uh, and wonderful.